Ghosting as a technical session has to be done as you are um, trying to promote your game and improve. It has to be done in a slightly slower and more controlled format. Um, as you get better at the movements, then of course you will then bring in the faster element and then you can really work on the physical side, whether it be for speed, anaerobic endurance, endurance. Um, but initially the technical side of ghosting needs to be done slower. And a prime example of this really is, is, is somebody like uh, Ali Farag, who happens to be the world number one at the moment. And when he was growing up, the technical side for him, he was walking through his movements. Stefan Galifi, who was a wonderful uh, player that uh, originated from France, he played for Italy. He was obsessed with Jan Chakan. Um, and you can see a crossover there with, with Ali Farag, who's like a, a little bit like a modern day Jan Chakan with the way he moves and his body type. But Galifi would also watch videos and, and walk around for a long, long period of time and work out his movements, work out his steps. And that's really, really important. It's, squash is, is a very aesthetic sport and it, and it is like dancing and ballet. If you were to watch the top players playing and you just watch their footwork, you don't watch the rackets, you don't watch the ball. It is like a dance. It's quite fantastic. So uh, I do feel that from that aspect, you really do need to, to just tone it down in terms of speed, really think about your step patterns, your positions on the ball and your swing and what type of shot you're looking to play from those different areas.